Hello and welcome to The Studio Demands It, an exercise in creative thinking where we will conceptualize, pitch, and craft a film or series based on the demands or stipulations from one of you listeners acting as a hypothetical Hollywood overlord. Hollywood! <laughs> as professional screenwriters ourselves. And massive cinephiles. Massive! We, there's a one. <laughs> we talk movies all the time. All the time. And we like to believe that we could meet any demand thrown at us right here on the spot. We will be your screenwriters for this episode. I am TC DeWitt, and joining me, as always, is Jim $5 Berzelic. $5 words, Berzelic. Oh. You are a man of $5 words. Uh, Thank you. You use... I don't stop at two. You don't stop at two. I don't stop at two dollars. Yeah. Jim, you have an expensive... I'm like, I say, up it! Uh, double it, double it, double and then it. add a little more. <laughs> you have a, either you have a word a day calendar, or you just have you just have a very impressive lexicon, is what I'm saying. Uh, I had word a day calendars back in the day, um, and then I also uh, just pick up a lot of words. The, there was an occasion where you bestowed me with a word that I had either never heard or had never retained. Was it bestow? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you bestowed me with this. Yeah. I was out getting stuff for a party and I asked you if I were to get you a whiskey, what would you like? Mm-hmm. And you said, my druthers, ah. Jack Daniels. And so I looked for five minutes for druthers, Jack Daniels. I apologize. Druthers, <laughs> Daniels, what's druthers, Jack Daniels? And I finally asked you, I'm like, all I could find was, Jack, what is druthers? Da-? And then you explained to me that druthers means like, if, if I had it my way. If I had preference. If yeah. I had a preference. And I'd never, druthers was not a word. I, like, well, wasn't that the name of the the dad in Different Strokes, <laughs> Mr. Druthers? <laughs> uh, so that was definitely a, a five dollar word that you that I pocketed. I, I sometimes bring it out. It's good, ca- good cash. Uh, you gotta let it breathe. You gotta let it breathe. <laughs> do you have do you want to over some? Do you have any other impressive words off the top of your uh, dome that you'd like to throw out there in casual conversation? So people are like, "What the hell?" Uh, on the spot like this. Yeah. Um, Say, give me an impressive word, Jim. What's an umlaut? Sure, umlauts. I, it's a fun word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. U m l a u t. Ooh, <laughs> judges say. Ding ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> I I think there might actually even be an umlaut in the proper spelling of umlaut. Of umlaut. <laughs> um, it's that. That's just a, a, a. It's it's literally a punctuation accent on certain vowels right, right. Uh, to pronounce them differently. Sure, like a, uh, like a double dot over an O or something like that. That is exactly what an umlaut is. Boom. I'm and, invisible. And it's pronounced uh, uh. That, that O, that particular O with the umlaut. So it's very, it's very bespoke of you. Bespoke, there you go. Yeah. That's your $5 word, though. Yeah. I've just been saying um, brain-dorming. Brain-storming. Brain-dorming. Brain, brain-dorming a comprehensive list of, of words that deviate from my normal pattern of language but uh, just having a confluence of uh, words in my head right now that i just feel very diminutive at the <laughs> uh, efficaciousness of an equanimity of giving you give and take within this podcast but it's turning into a big fiasco so uh well, fiasco is a big word now okay yeah. <laughs> listen i'm doing this off the top of my head <laughs> um, I, I, I know you're no. impeccably impressed by the uh the perniciousness of <laughs> of what I'm doing here, but uh, don't be persnickety, man. I'm just you know, pragmatically trying to just fill this. Don't be so banal with me. Are these good words? Am I doing good words? <laughs> you're doing you're doing a good job. Yeah, I'm gonna put a dollar sign. I like uh, I like using um, archaic abbreviations and contractions mm-hmm. like ne'er instead of never. <laughs> ne'er, ne'er, ne'er have I seen a movie that upset me more than Joker Folia do this year. Yeah. Ne'er have I. Ne'er. Um, uh, that's actually not true. We've seen some bad ones this year. I we that's a whole discussion unto itself. Is was that <laughs> the worst thing we've seen this year? Oh boy. Well, you know, we'll say that for post. Like okay. In the the post bonus section of the episode here. And the other one is just alternate pronunciations of words, like instead of laboratory, yeah. laboratory, laboratory, aluminium. Oh, uh, yep. This is a very didactic podcast. Con- instead of conservatory, conservatory, conservatory. Yes. Uh, garish. It's a, garish, yes. It's a very egregious pronunciation. <laughs> but you are a very eloquent man, and, and you very equitably bestow <laughs> words upon me just with this innate sense of meticulous uh, uh, brain, like brain words. And uh, you just have a myriad, you have myriad, not a myriad, you have myriad of words to, to share uh, in this proverbial uh, uh, world. 
a, a plethora of verbal plabum. Wow. Yeah. Pablum. Pab- pablum. Pablum. Not plabum. <laughs> pablum. Oh, uh, Jim, Jim. Ah, this Jim. is all faff. This is, ooh, you're faffing about <laughs> over here. Now you're using foreign <laughs> words on me. <laughs> well, hey, let's get into the episode. Perhaps. Thank you for uh, all that. We've just spent a lot of money on all the words we, we just did. used here. That was a $100 uh, uh, deviation. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, dear listener. You're going to have to slow down to like 0.5% to get all these words. Yeah. Or just pause after you said each one. <laughs> you're Googling like, I don't think per- pervarious was an actual word. I think TC made that up on the spot. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into the demand. Uh, Jim, our amazing listeners have given us, you are amazing listeners. I don't just say that because it's, it's what I say every episode. Our listeners are amazing. It's true. You're, you, you listen amazingly. <laughs> and you've given us a hell of a season. So thank you for yes. that. But you've, you all listening have given us demands from studios literally all over the world. And you listening right now, you can send us any demand you'd like. And we will have to meet it right here on the spot. And when we reach the end of the episode, if we've done our jobs, we very well might have pitched the script that could be greenlit by the fans for the finale, which is very quickly coming up. So thanks to everyone who keeps submitting. Please keep them coming. And I forgot to write down who gave me this demand. Jim, Uh-oh. vamp. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, we will be doing uh, uh, doing the finale soon. So keep an eye out for the poll. Well, we put a poll out each time to, to narrow down the, the at, at the very least, narrow down the um, finalists, uh, if not downright no no every time every time it actually has been the winner is is what we do right yes yeah, yeah. we uh, so, last year the electoral college versus the uh, general yeah, general vote yeah. it came down to a tie that we broke uh, let's see if we can make that happen again yeah uh, but yeah we will you you listeners are going to green light what we do yeah um, unless congress has to step in and make a decision or the supreme court <laughs> supreme has to court. step in uh, this comes from ian at bodies Times th- or I'm supposed to probably supposed to say bodies, 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 bodies. studios. Yeah. I never got to see that. I really wanted I to. Know, I missed good. it. Uh, Ian, you must be a fan, I guess. But uh, in okay, here we go. Ian, uh, well, actually, we I chose this demand because uh, I'm going to make an mm-hmm. admission here. So I chose this demand because I knew I wanted to do something in conjunction with Venom. Okay. Uh, so I I went through our list. I keyword Venom and found the we had three or four Venom demands, and this is the one that. I, I went with, um, and so Ian, you, you beat out a couple people with Venom demands. Uh, I did, I usually just skim for content to make sure it is what it is. This one was the one I selected when I like dropped it into the script here to read it. I did catch the second half of it. Uh-oh. And so I have a, I have a tip off that Jim doesn't have. Uh Oh, so, uh, but I don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not like, I, there was no planning here. Cause this is so spun. It's, Cheater. It's, it's meant to be Cheater! You're cheating at podcasting. I'm not cheating at podcast. And our listeners already know what this podcast is or what this episode's about anyway, because they already see the title. When they <laughs> but unless like that one person from season one who keeps listening to episodes blind, yep. <laughs> I'm just going to listen to whatever plays next. Here we go. Ian from Bodies, Bodies, Bodies Studios. In 2018, we received a dark superhero movie, the lethal protector himself, Venom, that no one thought be possible, let alone a success. So wait, hold on, sorry. Ian, I apologize uh, if, okay, that no one thought be possible, let alone as success. Okay, there might be some translation thing happening. I apologize. Uh, Six years later, we are about to complete that trilogy with Venom, Last Dance. Please... Please don't misunderstand me. I like Tom Hardy. I really like Venom, the character. Somehow, even in the hands of Sony's, the hands of Sony, they've managed not to fuck this up too bad. Okay, okay. They've managed not to fuck it up too bad. Not only is it confused me that these three movies exist and relatively successful, what confuses me even more is that another movie was announced in 2018 that had every reason to not just be success, but a smash and one we could have used more sooner than later than never blade starring mahershali mm. Maher, mahershali ah, fuck. this is on this one's on tc that one's <laughs> on me uh, we should have gotten this movie in november of 2023 the original release date we were supposed to get it in september 2024 now who knows my demand is for you two to write the blade movie for the mcu don't feel bad don't 
don't feel beholden to anything that has been speculated, developed so far, because they've thrown out six screenplays at this point and four directors. You might as well put your hats in the ring. My studio demands MCU Blade. Okay, so this isn't a Venom episode. Oh, okay. This is a Blade episode. Okay. Now, I will. I we had already said we'll talk about Joker in our bonus section, but I'm willing <laughs> to also do a Venom conversation. Okay. Uh, we can have a Venom conversation briefly right here because it is pretty incredible that you, every time that trailer comes up, I'm like, Jim, we live in a timeline with a Venom trilogy. It's true. Not only that, the first one came out in 2018. Oh, that's weird. Six years. No. It took, phase one of Marvel was, was 2008 to 2012. Oh, wait, the Venom really? trilogy was 2018 to 2024. That is. Tom it, Hardy has been Venom for six years? That doesn't seem like enough time. It seems like like I'm just baffled by like uh, thank you. I Ian. mean, it makes sense, right? That's basically one movie every two years, yeah. but it really, which is a regular kind of timeline. But that it does it does not seem like it's been that long. It does not compute. Uh, I'm I'm more surprised that three movies have come out so quickly of Tom Hardy staring as Venom, who he chose to play because of his son. Oh. His son could, like liked the character. I didn't know he had kids, and I didn't know he had kids old enough to like Venom. <laughs> He, he chose to do it because his son liked Venom. His son actually gave him advice on how to play. He would go to his son and say, like, how do, Louie, I think is his son's name. How do I play Venom? Like, what, what's huh. the, oh, this is what Eddie Brock's like, and this is what Venom's like, and this is how you do it, which I think is super cute. That is. And uh, Tom Hardy said he had been making too many movies his son couldn't see, so he decided to make one where he bites the head off of people, heads off of people. <laughs> um, but this is, this is a fair conversation. Uh, we, we were discussing Civil War... Uh, and the Marvel Universe versus BVS in our pre-roll. Sure. And at the time, I thought it was insane that before Wonder Woman hit the big screen, Rocket Raccoon and Groot did. <laughs> sure. That's crazy. The fact that we have three Venom movies, plus Venom appeared in Spider-Man 3, so it's not the... F- sure. he, he had his moment before. Moviegoers are familiar with yeah. uh, uh, the character. It is, it is something worth thinking about, about like... A, why has Blade stumbled through phase four and five? And it's like, someone's having like a good old whistling time outside. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's what's her name looking for, for the, the bride. Yeah. Uh, but okay. So uh, Blade is the demand. That's, that was the trip up on me. Cause I, I thought we were getting a Venom demand and it turned sure. out being yeah. just like, how are there three Venoms and no Blades? That's, that is the, that get, is the question. Get us some Blades. Yeah. So, yeah, thoughts, Jim. I've, I've rambled enough. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I am i don't know where to begin. Uh, begin at the beginning. All right. Uh, well, less about, less where about is beginning. That? Less about, like, uh, I'm not asking you to throw, throw your pitch at me right now. It's just more of a, a, a curiosity of, like, Wesley Snipes' well, Blade came out, came out in 1998, woke people back up to superhero movies sure. after Batman and Robin did what it did. Mm-hmm. And the Blade came out and was good. It was. It's a it's a great late '90s movie, mm-hmm. and it it opened the door back up for X Men, Spider Man, and then Batman Begins. Like sure. that got the yeah. ball rolling. Blade deserves the respect he gets. It was incredible to see Wesley Snipes come back in Deadpool Pool versus Wolverine. I, I would like to. I would. I would just like to take a moment to point out the the um un, un, unmentioned uh, uh, villain slash victim of of lionizing blade this way joel schumacher <laughs> we're putting the 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 near death of superhero movies on the shoulders of joel schumacher like pretty much solely yeah like we don't blame val kilmer we don't blame george clooney yeah, yeah. we blame what we are blaming whether we mean to or not joel schumacher. that's what's happening yeah. here joel um, schumacher who had a very wonderful career before yeah he he tainted all our childhoods with, <laughs> uh, and and all he was doing was trying to cap recapture his childhood. Of yeah, turning the Batman franchise into the Adam West Batman he remembered with a modern '90s uh, uh, sentiment. I I'm I'm I've softened on Batman Forever and Batman Robin, much like I've softened on the Star Wars prequels, where it's like as the the at the time, I had frustrated teen youth or preteen youth. And then that grew. I grew out of that, and I can. And we've moved so far beyond it that now the camp of it 
is fun. There are fans. There, there's people, people who have had their awakenings because of Val Kilmer as Batman. <laughs> sure. But, like, I'm, I, I've come around on it where I'm like, they're dumb. They're bad. <laughs> yeah. They're stupid, but they aren't the death of cinema. Sure. Um, so I'm not trying to. I just I wanted to point like because you had said they were they were that that Blade resurrected <laughs> superhero movies. Well, was, oh well, who what what killed them? T. C. Joel Schumacher. Oh, you know, a, a mi- mystery. Uh, <laughs> uh, no one, no one we can point at. Listen, it the that era is so confusing. <laughs> Everyone always talks about the bat nips that started in Batman Forever. People stop putting that on George Clooney. Mm-hmm. Yes, he had nipples on his, but so did Val Kilmer. Just saying. This is what I wanted to talk about. It's true. <laughs> I'm glad we're getting to the heart of it. Yeah. So anyway, stab uh, it right uh, in the heart uh, with a stake. I, I just like I just a wanted, vampire. Wanted to point that out. Like a vampire. Like a vampire. Yep. Uh, uh, that that blade is what resurrected the films. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the superhero the superhero genre. It it it, it walked so oh, so Spider Man could run. It, you had it right there. You want to try that again? No, I don't. I, I'm, I'm I, I live you with my stumbles. You stick with I the live run. With my stumbles. All right. Yep. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, so spy. Yeah, that's okay. You want to hang your head in shame for a second? Yeah, I do. Okay, so we got Mahershala Ali, uh, uh, his voice at the end of Eternals when Kit Harrington's Black Knight received the sword. That movie that everyone remembers yeah. and, and is waiting for every detail to be uh, uh, fulfilled. Yeah. <laughs> so the the promise of Blade was it's been he has come out. He stood on the Comic Con stage in 2018 and put the hat on, and it was mm-hmm. like coming soon. He's fifty now. Like this poor man has been waiting a long time. Blade wears a hat? No, no, no. He on the stage he put the blade hat. On. Oh, oh, like a, like a baseball cap with the logo. With the logo. Yeah. Gotcha. So, I guess if we're not Ian here, has said we don't have to be beholden to anything that's come before or or developed. So we can do whatever we want. Mm-hmm. And so, do we want to craft a blade that's inserted now, or do we want to retroactively find a place to put them? What's your what's your sense of Blade as a character, uh, and what you would like what you want to do with him? Uh, because the trick here is, it's, uh, it, it's similar enough to Batman and Spider Man and Superman, where oh no, we already got the definitive version. What are you going to do differently? Sure. Uh, and and though Blade, Blade Two and <laughs> Blade Three, those movies aren't. Perfect. No, they. That's why I said they they could walk, so that Spider Man could crawl. There you go. You got it. You, good boy. <laughs> you can have this cookie. Uh, but crawling's worse than walking. <laughs> <laughs> right there. You could have uh, said swing. I was. I, I had. I there were two. Uh, that, you could have said swing. I should have said swing. That's. I uh, crawls uh, fine. I, I, my my hesitation was actually. Wait, did Spider Man or X Men come first? I couldn't remember. Uh, X Men came uh, first. So it, I should have said so. X Men. It doesn't matter. Um, it's too late. You've already- uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, Blade, the, the they 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 ignited a spark. They didn't have to do much more than that. They mm-hmm. didn't. It, it's it's not like um, they're they're necessarily like hidden gems or something. Yeah. Um, I th- I feel like the first Blade is still watchable. The the second I'll, one, I'll, is... albeit still feeling very nineties. And it's campy. It's camp camp nineties. Yeah. Uh, it's it's more like. Like Matrix really did up the game in yeah, terms of did. blockbuster cinema. Blade was the year before that, and very much had like more like Dark City, uh, mm-hmm. mm, Dark Man. Like it, it, it had the camp of the non <laughs> Batman mm-hmm. movies, uh, but it's still a fun movie. It's still it's very nineties. Yeah, <laughs> it's got the steely look to it. Mm-hmm. That second one is Del Toro. There's a lot more, uh, f- um, like cool stuff in it i guess so i disagree hmm. but that that's personal uh, like uh a bunch of things happen in there that are too much too campy to me like mm-hmm. there's there's too many wrestling moves i just i just <laughs> he does there's suplex one of those characters yeah like like, like the the evil vampire jumps from the toppest of ropes and el- uh, to, elbows. <laughs> to elbows drop onto blade like please. hey if i had my druthers yeah yeah blade one over blade two yeah, uh, that that's not a, uh, that is more uh, of a hot take than it should be, uh, but I agree. They're they're they outrun light in Blade Two, like, right? And dive in the water they, to get away. They, from it. Yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, 
And and actually because of that, that's why I didn't go see the third one. So I have not even seen Jim the third one, Blade Trinity. The the existence that we can all thank the third one for giving us is Pat Oswald's stories mm-hmm. about Blade Three. Just mm-hmm. look them up; they are fantastic. <laughs> Talking about Wesley Snipes would only refer to himself as Blade and left post it notes for everyone and wouldn't talk to anyone and like closed his eyes in the scenes <laughs> and it's just insane. It's just like Wesley Snipes is going through a tough time. Whatever Pat Oswald telling those stories, say magnifique. And also, that is where Deadpool was introduced to Ryan Reynolds. Sure. And Ryan Reynolds was introduced to Deadpool. Uh, so the history of Blade Three is important for that factor. It is. Uh, uh, it's a it's a BTS importance. <laughs> but um, it is also bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. So now, Blade in the MCU. Yep. Okay. I think I have an idea. I would love to hear it. Uh, it begins. <clears throat> With Blade, and the thing is, it, it would basically be sort of a retroactive insert into Phase Four. Okay, the Moon Knight phase, if that helps yeah. for TV. Uh, uh, Marvel's Multiverse of Madness, A Man Quantum Mania was the end. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, basically, basically the phase uh, after uh, Endgame. Gotcha. Um, and it would pick up basically right as Endgame uh, uh, finishes. Mm, okay. Uh, uh, it, it would pick up with Blade recombobulating in uh, suggesting oh he he snapped away oh great okay cool but one of my favorite things post end game is getting to see the blip or the snap from multiple perspectives sure i loved yelena popping up in hawkeye we got to see what her perspective of the blip was mm-hmm. where she just popped in popped out or popped out popped back uh, okay then, then maybe actually maybe it even starts before the blip um, Blade is doing his Blade thing. Uh, mm-hmm. We can we get into more details what that is, uh, and then uh, like like uh, 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 Elena, uh, Elena uh, uh, he he comes back. Um, but what's happened ultimately? What what he ends up learning, and uh, and what we will flesh out as we go. Mm-hmm. He was he uh, he was near complete. Like like he might have even had an organization, right? Like whist- we can have a Whistler, we can have a or, or, or and or whoever. He has a whole yeah. bunch of uh, vampire hunters with him, mm-hmm. and they they are near. They, they've been chasing down the very last vampires, mm-hmm. and he's finishing the job when he is snapped away. Oh, so then when he comes back five years later, they're all back. Oh, my but, work was almost done. Yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. what we find out, uh, uh, uh. The, the arcane work that this vampire has done and, and maybe anyone who has survived, um, vampires don't count as uh, uh, living things, so none of them snapped away. Oh, interesting. Oh. Uh, I, I, I mean, technically, if they were already almost done killing them all, that wouldn't matter. Right, but, but it, having like that, maybe like the last nest... Um, Blade's either working with the Midnight Suns or the Night Stalkers is the organization from the comics that Blade has worked with, which is where Blade Three delved into with Hannibal King and Whistler's daughter. Mm. Uh, they were the Night Stalkers. So having having Blade having somewhat sure. of a team blipping out and coming back. And they're gone. And they've failed. Yeah, they've failed. Most, of, most if not all of them, have been killed. Yeah. So then Blade's basically a man alone again. Mm-hmm. And then... And he's dealing with a segment of the MCU that we've barely touched in Werewolf by Night, mm-hmm. which if you have not watched Werewolf by Night of the... It's so much fun. It's so fun. Uh, Brad Bird directed... No, no. Michael Giacchino directed that. Mm. Um, and we've gotten a little bit of... like, Well, the magic of Doctor Strange is... Sure. Mm, it's, now we're getting it's closer. A, it's adjacent. Adjacent, yeah. Um, the, the dark... Hold, which was mm-hmm. uh, that was a uh, uh, one division into multiverse, uh, multiverse of, madness. of madness. So we have some paranormal stuff like right there that would be like it would. And a- as of this recording, we're in the middle of Agatha, Agatha all along. So right. I don't know if the dark hold shows back up or mm-hmm. anything like that. So witches and wizards. Sure. We haven't and werewolves. Mm-hmm. We haven't seen vampires. So but the, the world exists out there in the shadows and, and blade having done been doing i like this idea of him like the opening of the movie being like the climax of his mission Mm -hmm. and then the blip happens and then we see like a time lapse of that wherever it was the the five years going by in an instant and then blade returning and then what has happened in five years is an infestation of Mm -hmm. vampires yeah 
Nice. They, they've basically like reestablished their network uh, across the crippled world. Uh, and, and even, even once um, the blip is done and everyone returns, mm-hmm. they, the, uh, the vampires who never blipped away. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so they don't have to worry about vampires coming back and trying to assert dominance. Mm-hmm. These vampires have their network and now that's, it's just more victims. Yeah. This is what a fun notion that they don't, they, they aren't, you're, you're saying, you're even saying they don't have souls in a sense. Yeah. 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 That's well, right. Cause that, that's part of what makes blade so unique. He's half living mm-hmm. half dead. Right. Right. So, uh, I, I feel like having that, uh, even, even our notions of, uh, I mean, we have, as as beings, we have this notion that corpses have a a sanctity to them, mm-hmm. but also they they are just matter. Right. We al- we also There's, half acknowledge that they're they're not they're not there anymore. Beings, the anymore. soul, the soul yeah. has has gone on, has ascended yeah. or descended. And and the and the undead, um, yeah, I, I guess I'm suggesting the undead are not souls or soul. I like power. That. Yeah trapped within a body it's a because thanos didn't snap away half the uh, actually there's even a lot of living things he didn't he didn't snap away half the plants right yeah and, and it's a great bit of continuity to create for these vampires the mm-hmm. mcu vampires are soulless beings at least at, at least the ones we're going to meet in this story Sure, and so therefore they had the 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 blip meant nothing to them. In fact, it was an advantage to them. Yeah, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> like, there's other people that have taken advantage of the blip. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Justin Hammer should not have been blipped, and he should have had all the time in the world to reestablish his Ooh. network so that he was the bad guy in Ant Man versus the Wasps. There. Ooh, oh, yeah. There you go. Sorry, yeah. I had to get that out. Waste of Walter Goggins. Okay. Yep. Um, I know I've said that before, but I had yeah. to say it again. <laughs> um. So yeah, the vampires are establishing dominance. So there's a network of vampires that Blade now has to kick the kick the ass of. Yeah. Uh, now, one of the problems that has come up in the development of Blade, one of the reasons one of the scripts got booted, uh, I think it might have even been the first one that uh, Ali had a lot of trouble with, was like he wasn't the main character anymore. Mm. That they were there was a little too much of you have to put this in and you have to put this character and you have to put this character in and it became less and less Blade and more and more just an intersection for mm. Marvel stuff and it was muddying the waters enough where the director got frustrated, the actor got frustrated and it was like, okay, start over again. So I, the reason I bring that up is do we want that? I like the idea of the Midnight Suns coming into an existence in some capacity. We have Moon Knight and we have... Black Knight. Sure. Now, I don't want them to be main characters in this per se. I also I don't I don't want them to be supporting characters either. They can be cameos. Okay. Uh, if anything, like I, I'm gonna where where I'm gonna start in this negotiation yeah, is yeah, yeah. they're in the stinger. Mm, I I would I don't want them to be main characters in the movie. I like mm-hmm. the idea of them popping up in a similar capacity as. Doctor Strange popped up in Thor Ragnarok. A scene or two. And having okay. Blade, if Blade starts... Here, his... Here's my only problem with... with uh, like, like, the, like, that's fine, and I might be taking your notion too literally. Mm-hmm. Like, them being cameos is fine. Uh, uh, Doctor Strange is an established character, so when he popped up, we all got to go, oh, we know him from the other thing. Right. Right? With, technically with Moon Knight and Black Knight, Black Knight they are characters we know, but when they pop up, it's not going to be the same. We know, like, like the Senate, we need. Why is Kit Harrington this? He was in Eternals. Which one? Eternals. Yeah. That, but... uh, and, and he had a magic sword, apparently, that he only talked to at the very end of the movie. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. we didn't really get to see him do anything. So uh, uh, that becomes sort of the problem with, yeah. with I... cameoing them. Do, you, do yes. you know what I'm saying? Yes. And and here's here's what I'd like then. Uh, if, if we're going to play nice in the sandbox references to other let's do it like this in winter soldier when they grab stenman it was the 
when Hydra was revealed and they grabbed him and they're like, who are you investigating? Yeah. Everyone, this, this, Wasn't Doctor Strange. St- Stedman? St- um, no, that that's something else. That's that's Seinfeld, isn't it? <laughs> no, Stedman was uh, Hillary's husband in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Stedman is Oprah's husband. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, sorry. It was uh, the name drop of Doctor Strange in, Civil, in uh, Winter Soldier. We're investigating oh. everyone. There's this and this. Uh, Dr. Oh, Stephen okay. Strange, blah, blah, blah. Anyone who seems like they'd be a threat. Oh, oh, okay. So having a moment of reference to Black Knight and Moon Knight, Ghost Rider even. Like, let's do a Ghost Rider name drop. Just to say, like, you're not the only one out there. The, for the past five years, there have been others trying to fight the vampires, trying to fight this army that's just been growing. There's this person and this person and this person. And just leave it at that. I don't even want him to show up in the state. Oh, okay. We'll just say, like, reference him here. So if this is a success, we can do a Blade Midnight Suns. I see. That's, that's, I let's just do a Blade movie. And whoever we choose to be the supporting cast in this uh, exists for, in, in like, fa- Falcon's level in Winter Soldier. Okay. Like, hey, I just go where he goes. I just do it slower. Sure. <laughs> kind of thing. Um, uh, why would we say Stedman? What, where did that come from? <laughs> it came from um, Civil War. Is the oh the, right, right. who's that Hydra, guy? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the bald Hydra guy. Yeah, who was actually like planted across several things. Yeah, um, I, I'll, his name will come back to me in a second. Here. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, it's as simple as he was just about to complete his mission. So we need like an antagonist. Who, sure. Don't make a Dracula. Okay. Because <laughs> that's the main bad guy in Blade Tr- yeah. Trinity. Well, right. I, I, um, Looking at a list of the vampires in the Marvel Universe, there really aren't very many. I actually would Sit well. almost be... Sit well. There you go. You found it. Uh, that's kind of like Stedman. <laughs> it's so close. It started with an S. <laughs> S. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> um, I'd almost rather make up our own. Hmm. Okay. Um, I know that that doesn't quite match the the rest of the Marvel Universe. Um because right, because okay, here, real quick, we're gonna go to the internet. I mean, if you want to, if you want to know Blade's enemies, is that sort of what you were just thinking? Uh, like sort of. He yeah. has he has a plethora because Blade's been around for decades at this point. So there. Well, are... if we were to want to specifically do vampires, though, um, and I don't know these characters well enough, but vampires in Marvel, mm-hmm. uh, Baron Blood, don't really know who that is. I actually thought that was a Cobra character. Uh, Deacon Frost. That was that is, the first movie. That's Stephen Dorff's villain. Yep. Uh, Hannibal King. I don't think he's Hannibal a King bad is, guy. Is no, he? He is uh, the Night Stalker's leader that Ryan Reynolds played. Okay. Blade. Uh, uh, Dracula. Mm-hmm. Jubilee. No. <laughs> uh, but she's not a vampire anymore. Yeah. Uh, Bloodstorm. Don't know who or what that is. It's a X Men villain. Uh, Lilith. Morbius. Zerus. Nimrod. Nimrod's a vampire? I thought Nimrod was Everyone's a robot. A... Uh, and vampires. <laughs> just the just, generic Just the general concept. generic. Vampires. Yeah. Oh, no, I guess later on. Krieger, Nina Price, Varney, Victor Strange. Well, Count Von Stadt is a mutant who was turned into a vampire in the comics and, and um, a member of like a cult like a vampire cult that's perfect yeah for where i'm thinking we go with this okay i so i think like count von stad you get two two bonuses here one it's a vampire villain that blade has faced in the comics two he's a mutant great so we and uh um if only we had the power to use your how where mutants come from <laughs> Uh, yeah. Jim, Jim's pitch for mutants in the MCU. Go. Uh, my pitch for mutants in the MCU initially came from the snap. The idea w- uh, was uh, the snap ac- activates the X gene uh, in, in people that don't get snapped away. Yeah. Um, and that's, I think that's a fun. Or, or, or was it that people that do get snapped? No, no. Uh, it, it, Whatever the case, don't... the the snap yeah. is responsible. The snap is what act- activates the X gene that people start having mutant powers, and then we would have. We would start mutants there in 2019. Whenever it? the snap returned. Yeah. 2025. Um, or 20, or, yeah. 2023. This year. This year. Oh. When we cut up. Um, uh, yeah. So so that's when mutants would actually start. Mm-hmm. And then we would get a whole new fresh uh, Xavier and, and right. Magneto. But start them all as teenagers. and That's not where it's going. That's not where it's going. So 
having a mutant villain. Maybe. Again, Deadpool and Wolverine, amazing movie, but it didn't... It inserted those movies into the MCU multiverse. But not, in not the, into the, proper. The, the, the Cinema 616. Mm, very good specific, specificity. Uh, well, yeah, because they didn't do a different number. They should have done a different number. <laughs> I know. Uh, Ms. Marvel agrees with you. Yeah. Uh, um, um, okay, so Count Von Stadt is a yeah, leader yeah, of, a cult, of a of a vampire cult. I can't perfect. Re- can't That's where I, w- I was wanting to do a culty kind of thing. Great. There is a second vampire order called the uh, that's a vamp the Vampire Nation. So like competing organizations, and that guy's name is something like Damascus, Damas Damascus or something like that. I'll Google okay. it. I can Google it in a second. But having two nations that are that that have risen up gives blades gives blade more to fight. And possibly an enemy versus my enemy kind of thing. Sure. Um, if you want to, if you want to complicate this, if it's as simple as the the cult well, of von Stott has risen up and now has like taken over, that is all uh, we're in Europe. Like, mm-hmm. like let's keep uh, Blade British. Uh, or do you want to be in America? Uh, global. Okay. I, well, global. I, I think their Ooh. their network has gone global. We're doing. They it. had no one to stop them. Yeah. Okay. They they had Black Widow with her nameless shield agents mm-hmm. to stop them. Okay, so we have a globe hopping blade movie? Um potentially. Okay. Uh, uh I'm a big world builder and I know movies prefer character builders. That's okay. Keep keep them. Um, uh, uh I am I'm imagining it 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 has uh, 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 gotten its tendrils across the globe. So, uh we can go anywhere. Um it can ultimately end up in England, uh, or or where we want. So ultimately, uh, let's now I'm going to work a little backwards. Mm-hmm. What I'm imagining our bad guys are doing, our cult, uh, our, our vampiric cult, uh, they want more power. Uh, they, uh, yeah, they want more power, and so what they're trying to do, because knowing you want to do Midnight Suns eventually, maybe. So yeah. I want to plant the seeds for that, and I know the I didn't get to play the video game, <laughs> but what my friends who did told me is you're fighting demons. In that, hmm. so I think that's what's happening here: is Count von Stott and his cult uh, want to summon, and they want to bind and control a demon. Hmm. But they're essentially that—that's essentially what they're doing. They're—they're they're going to, um, uh, yeah, they're going to do that. Maybe, maybe the plan is to do kind of like what uh, 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 the the plan in the first one, like, oh, we're going to do the thing and I'm going to become a demon vampire. Maybe Count Von Stott wants to do that again himself. Mm-hmm. And he wants to be a blood tornado. Um, <laughs> uh, ultimately, it will go, it, it won't go right. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, I think, right, so Blade, in the end, does defeat Stott. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's still in the, in the, um, the, the aftermath is a, a, a hell portal is opened and some things get through or maybe the demon is still summoned to defi- despite defeating the head vampire mm-hmm. um uh th- that that's that's my my thoughts You're, okay so having blade return realizing that the vampires have gone global realizing that he's going to go after the head of the snake and, f- and trying to find who's left of the night stalkers yeah it's like uh, going going with Blade's friends, like the allies that Blade's ten, Blade tends to have. You have Whistler, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, Abigail Whistler, who's Jessica Biel played, is Whistler's daughter. Um, but I don't know if she, they ever... They eventually put her in the comics. I think she started in the movies. Whatever the case. So we have a, some a couple people. other things are happening here. We're doing a different Blade. I don't think... We're, we're not... No, actually... Uh, uh, and actually, to honor what Deadpool and Wolverine did, mm-hmm. I don't think... I mean, we can, we can, we can, we could use Whistler and stuff. It's not going to be those. We're not going to bring Jessica Biel. No, as... no, 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 no. I was not suggesting it. I, oh, okay. I was. I sorry if you're misunderstanding. I was just listing some allies we've oh, seen before. Okay. Sure. Uh, I, I for one would like to see maybe some allies from the comics that are more obscure uh, or can connect us to characters. So like finding someone like um, Microchip, who sure. is a Punisher ally. Yeah, and, and oh, having, oh, you you want to pull some people from some other maybe things? Uh, maybe not microchips a bad example that was more of saying like can we think of someone from Ghost Rider mm. or Moon Knight that we could link? I don't, uh, I, I don't know those those casts of characters well enough uh, to, to pull. Um, uh, 
Um, right. For, from Ghost Rider, I know Johnny Blaze, and I don't even know who's actually Ghost Rider right now. What's his name? Ricky uh, Ramos, I think is. I think that sounds yeah. right. Robbie Ramos? Sorry. Um, Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> You're not a, if you're not first, you're van. If you're not vengeance, you're revenge. There, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it okay. Here's here's a pitch for someone because I, I don't mind Blade just being a lone wolf out there, uh, Indiana Jones style, and just getting like a, an ally for a brief period and then moving on to the next. If we're just having him travel his way to the source to mm-hmm. kill Von Stott, um, because it, well, you said him trying to find the remaining Night Stalkers. And being like, fill me in what's what happened here. Whereas everyone sure. else, it's just me. Um, so maybe having someone like, oh shit, what's his name? Um, Brian Braddock, uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, no, 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 Captain Britain. Captain Britain. Captain Britain. Okay, to what? To what? Just to just to reference other characters. Just to have another so uh, a, I, an, an ally. Could you tell me any more about Black Knight? What does Black Knight do? Who does who does he fight? Oof. Uh, Black Knight is a legacy pers- uh, persona, if I remember correctly. Black Knight is like once you in- embody the sword, the once you embrace the sword, the blood which has been passed down to the bloodline, the souls of the previous Black Knights in are infused within you, and you mm. have all their memories and abilities. And so, so the the coolest version of of Iron Fist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe having Kit Harrington be his sidekick in this might be something. Is that what you're that, possibly suggesting? Possibly. What what I was the other things I was thinking of is uh, in Blades fighting vampires and learning he's also fighting demons. Mm-hmm. Uh, but these are creatures of the night. Mm-hmm. Uh, somehow tying that to Egyptian mythology, so then he has to seek an ally amongst them, and they send him to the god of the night, which is I forget Moon Knight's god's name. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So he has to meet with his champion, which is Moon Knight, mm-hmm. to get some sort of uh, uh, blessing of the Guardian of the Night, the the, the Moon Knight. Okay, and it's, right. So the, yeah. there, that would be your cameo. I know you said you didn't even want that, but I'm okay a cameo for him to be like, okay, cool. Here, have a have a fucking Moon Medallion. <laughs> um, uh, 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 I'll see you later. I got I got multiple personality things to do. Uh, uh, so then it's not till the end of the movie that it's like, yeah, that thing, I, I need more help. Mm-hmm. And then Moon Knight will be like, I'm there for the next one. Right. Call me anytime. Um, and it would, it would essentially it would be the same thing with um, the Black Knight. Right. right. So if if he's this uh, uh, like he's he's a he's a lineage order of he's he's an entire order of knights in mm-hmm. one one person going back ages. Um, there's no reason to think he hadn't fought vampires over uh, right you you invoke the word blood so i'm thinking uh uh, he he somehow crosses that as well um that's what i was kind of trying to do there i don't have other than that i don't really have a list of of who to try to include i saw rachel van helsing was on a list of vampires or vampire related marvel characters i don't know who she is or what probably a descendant of van helsing from dracula lore uh, well, uh, uh, yes, but I don't know like h- how she has. Um, we're we're definitely in the weeds. In Marvel, we're definitely in the weeds as far as like my Marvel knowledge is stretched. So let's 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 pull, let's we're getting a little too off base here. So let's just think structurally. We got sure. Blade was completing his lifelong mission. Mm-hmm. He's blipped away. He comes back at, like post snap uh, to find a world that has gone five years on without him. Everything that he worked towards has fallen apart in the in the aftermath of the of it, and and now he must recover from that. And just he he chooses his enemy. If that's the if that's the head guy, I'm going after him. And mm-hmm. I'm gonna fight my way to him. You gasped. Um, a, a thought occurred. Like I still do like Count von Stott. Um, so that's a it's a fun vampire name. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, 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 it occurred to me. Um, what if we either make a character or find a character to turn like when when blade snapped away mm-hmm. they got turned into a vampire so one of the night one of the old night stalkers mm-hmm. is actually the new villain mm. like you were gone blade and i was turned what was i supposed to do dust myself i don't know if they use that word <laughs> yeah. is it, that's, that's just a buffy term, word yeah. uh well hannibal was previously a thrall of a vampire 
that's his origin mm. and, and they i believe they did that in the comic or they did that in the film um so making the main villain be one of his former allies eh, i don't love that okay i i the it's it's a pretty simple plot that we've laid out here he's back kill the bad guy so now it's a matter of what are the we know what the repercussions of him disappearing were so were what we might be able to have a meta narrative here of like blade not knowing what his place is in this universe in this world i think that's why i was trying to in, introduce a new complication because i feel like he would like i'm a vampire hunter i hunt vampires. i slipped sort of it wasn't even technically his fault so if anything there's that if it wouldn't be survivors basically he has guilt over a thing he couldn't help right and yes yes i see what you're saying with one of his allies getting turned or if like all the night stalker all the night stalkers being killed is something yeah. to consider that we've already talked about uh but but as far as his place in the world he, yeah. he's he decided what his what his place was a while ago it's kill all the vampires mm-hmm. and he had almost finished that and then it would be experts saying well well now what mm-hmm. but now like like the plan is clear again oh there's these things are everywhere well let's let's try um, this unless you want to explore the notion of uh pr- the the not Promethean. Is it the, no, is it Promethean? The the pushing the rock up the hill. Oh, is that uh, Promethean? Sisyphus. No, Sisyphus. It this is Sisyphus Sisyphusian. Uh, 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 Sisyphian. 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 Yeah. Uh, 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 right. I I I almost killed them all, and they're all back again. Now I got to do it all over again. Yeah. Uh, like like is that the conflict Blade is exploring? Possibly, at least, especially if a character just straight up tells him like you think you'll ever d- defeat this there'll always be another you you will always have to do this 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 sisyphean task yeah i want to let's try this as far as a meta narrative is concerned and what's blade's place within the mcu and this world he's returned to is if the vampires have risen up and the the battle against them has gone on for five years the the vampires have changed in five years and the tech and the the people fighting them so maybe not all the Night Stalkers have been to, have been killed, but they've moved on without Blade. Like we don't need Blade. We're fine. This is everything is going perfectly, reasonably well, without Blade around. The meta narrative of we've waited this long to see Blade in the movies. What's his place in this in this universe? So then the movie becomes not just about defeating the bad guy, but proving no, this is the guy. We need this vampire slayer in this universe. We need this hero specifically in the MCU for X, Y, and Z. Otherwise, it is like Black Knight or any of the Eternals who have amounted to nothing. So I, I can't. I, I'm suggesting we craft a narrative that is built upon a character not understanding his place and now and now having to prove why he needs to exist. Because at this point, why do we need a Blade movie is what I'm saying. Sure. I see what you're saying. I don't like exploring that through the notion of uh, having other characters be like, we got this under control. What do we need you for? Mm -hmm. Um, I would rather. Are you familiar with the anime Goblin Slayer? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, there's there's a bunch of uh, problematic things about it. Uh, uh, that that always seem to come to the fore, so I'm going to say that right away. That's not what I'm referencing here. <laughs> okay. The anime Goblin Slayer is um, there's this character known as Goblin Slayer. That is all he is known as. We never see his face, anything like that. He has dedicated his life to slaying goblins, who he says, and we come to find out, kind of are the underestimated largest threat to this world mm-hmm. because they're considered level one monsters. Because there's there's sort of this meta thing like oh there's newbie adventurers and then they go off to fight higher level monsters and oh, stuff very D. um yeah and uh, uh the goblin slayer has has a tragic past where someone very close to him was hurt very very badly by goblins and he's like no if you if they get out of, con- out of control they're 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 no good i'll kill them all uh, and so he's dedicated himself to killing them all and everyone thinks he's this p- pathetic hero because he just slays goblins but uh, uh, he's actually quite powerful and blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> I'm, uh, uh, I invoke this because I'm suggesting making vampires that. Blade comes back. Maybe Blade is trying to alert people, alert the other heroes mm-hmm. to the vampire, like, because the Night Stalkers are gone, or the, the only couple that are left are mostly in hiding at mm-hmm. this point. Um, maybe he, Blade, even tries to contact uh, 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 Shield, right? And Shield's like, 
vampires, really? Are you serious? <laughs> we're we're uh, fighting aliens. Yeah, there's Dormammu's out yeah, there. There's bigger problems. Yeah. And Blade's like, no, there's not. We have a giant hand coming out of the ocean yeah. over in the Pacific. I think your little piddly vampires are <laughs> okay. And 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 ultimately, what uh, uh, as we follow Blade, uh, uh, and and the 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 pack of. Uh, 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 remaining st- night stalkers, B tier hero. The remaining night stalkers and B tier heroes. He's actually able to cobble together. Mm-hmm. They actually do. They fight these vampires and uh, uh, ultimately prove that no, they are also a big problem. Because look, look what they're doing. First of all, they're killing people. They're 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 so converting them into bad. vampires and killing them. Yeah. Uh, and they're summoning demons. You know things related to those bigger problems Dressed. that you're talking about. Uh, yeah. I mean, hell, this might be a place to introduce someone like Blackheart or uh, who's not Mephisto. Sure. I don't know if we want to. Uh, people thinking Mephisto is going to be the big bad guy in this new phase anyway. Um, I, you know what? If anything, I'm. This is our podcast. Yeah, I'm going to plant the seed to do our own. Uh, 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 not Dark Avengers. That's a whole different thing. But mm. essentially, Midnight Suns thing. Like so. Uh, there's a there's a Moon Knight TV show. We're pitching a Blade movie. Mm-hmm. There will likely be in, in in this a Black Knight movie, mm-hmm. a whole new Ghost Rider, and it all come together with oh, a Midnight Suns, Avengers. our own yeah. Avengers. Gotcha. The Midnight Suns and that villain, the villain at the end of that. Maybe this is too early. Maybe we'll have a a, a hellish Chitari <laughs> of some kind, yeah. and then tease Mephisto. Mephisto, okay. <laughs> if not, have Mephisto be the villain of that. Well, then I. I like okay, you, cool. Put that over there. Um, the idea that Blade is like, no, vampires are a threat, and everyone else is like, what? Come on, we we are dealing with much bigger things here. Mm-hmm. The repercussions of everyone returning. We've got Scrawl out there. Mm-hmm. We've got a hand coming out of the ocean, kind of thing. So, what do you, what do you think about that? He's yeah. He's not he's not Chicken Little. It's a real problem, right? But it's just one everyone thinks isn't. Yeah. Uh, like, fine, go handle that. You're the vampire guy. Yeah, you go do that. Even having a moment of. A confrontation with Nick Fury to be like, sure. What do you do? What are you doing on my site? Like we're dealing with uh, um, a scrawl thing, um, and Blake could be like, I'm dealing with vampires. And like, how? Ma- oh yeah, how many? How many vampires could there possibly be in the world right now? Hundreds. Oh, hundreds. Ooh, <laughs> I'm Nick Fury would never yeah, talk yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. But the notion that the you think the biggest threat is a few hundred bloodsuckers, go take care of that yourself. I'm, I'm, de- I'm dealing with interstellar yeah. political relations here. And there's probably, no, there is a more elegant way to dismiss yeah. Blade and not be so glib about it. Yeah. Uh, but that's, I like that notion that essentially is and, like. And there, there could be a dismissal of uh, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't have time for for this. We will assign you an agent. Mm-hmm. And and then that could get you. Uh, an agent. An, an agent. agent. It's yeah. someone. We And we could, uh, I would. Uh, you know. It's a, what, what was the name of the guy from, from Hellboy? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh no it's john it's john mayer yes john mayer <laughs> agent, agent john mayer agent john mayer <laughs> oh, God, <help> <laughs> that was that was more dave matthews <laughs> i uh, no i no. suppose help that, that, some blade that, to kill there some vampires vampires <laughs> there you go that's dave matthews thank you very much uh I'm going to kill some vamps. <laughs> there you go. That's showing. <laughs> okay, listen. You had suggested that the vampires are trying to up their game by summoning something. And I think Blackheart is one of the best Marvel villains yes. to to draw from, uh, to, to draw into this. So the only hesitation I have here for that is it's it's a little similar to what the plan was for the villain in Moon Knight, which was gather the forces to summon Big Bad Demon Man. That's that's my only hesitation about that. Mm. So, alternatively, what I'd like to suggest is, if the belief is they are going to summon a demon, and then the revelation is, but well, we did that five years ago. He's right there. He's been. He's the one been pulling the strings the whole time. Why? How do you oh, think he's, we got? He's been here the whole he's time. He's been here the whole time. <laughs> Yeah. I've been here the whole yeah. time. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm actually right over here. You've been ignoring me, and I feel real bad about. It. He's a South Park character. Yeah, yeah. I feel real bad about you ignoring me over here. <laughs> <laughs> but thinking like Blade building up to like the climax of we're gonna kill Von Stat and then stop them from summoning Blackheart, only to be like, we even if we kill Von Stat, it doesn't matter. Blackheart has already been here the whole time. Uh, so then the threat is much bigger than they even thought it was in the first place. Um, something like that. 
Sure. Let's take a break. <laughs> okay. I'll let you digest on that, yeah. and we could, I'll throw it to a break right now. Uh, blade, 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 blade. Um, yeah. Here's a couple of messages from 6.5 Media. We'll be right back after this. Blade, kill John Mayer. <laughs> uh, okay, so how are we doing? Um, I mean, like a loose plot is fine, and I think we've got something building here. Uh, what any trip ups for you? What are you What are you sensing in our pitch here that isn't working for you or is working? Uh, no trip ups. Yeah. Uh, not Not yet. Um... The 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 idea of a globe trotting blade is fun. Like taking him from wherever he blipped out and working his way backwards. Mm -hmm. uh, touching on the bigger paranormal supernatural world. I do like that. Uh, what's the background of Blackheart? Blackheart, now, my memory of Blackheart is uh, X-Men related. Um, but there's... Oh, that's a, right. He was in Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, I know that mostly <laughs> is a X, X, I, It was all of Marvel, but it felt mostly X-Men. Yeah. The... Because he has, oh God, I mean, Marvel vs. Capcom is such a cool, it's one of those characters like, where the hell did this guy come from? <laughs> um, he's, if anyone has a, wants a vision, he's this giant, he's like this obelisk character, they very like red burning eyes. Um, I always thought he looked like a spiky silhouette. Yeah, there's like quills and, shooting yeah, out to, of his to be, back. To be glib about it, he was like a big, he was, he was a scary, evil Sonic Silhouette. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog it's silhouette. Evil Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, weirdly, his first appearance is in Daredevil. Hmm. Uh, and John Romita Jr. originally drew him. That's interesting. I'm going to see if he has any association with Blade. Because I, I, I'm very wrong then if he has no association with the X-Men. Because I thought he had a, no association with... Was um, he one of the characters in uh, Ghost Rider? Uh, no, I don't know. What demons did Ghost Rider fight? In the Nick Cage movies? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wes Bentley. I remember that much. Uh, you know what? He might have been in Ghost Rider, but... Um, the uh, Mephesto cast um, uh, Blackheart to Earth, like kicked click, kicked Blackheart out of, out of hell. Okay. Um. And I know Blackheart has had like progeny on Earth and whatnot, but um, for the most part, like the the powers are like speed, durability, um, energy, telepathy, levitation, size alteration, regeneration, soul capturing, mind control, mortality, like just general buffed up villain, magic villain type stuff. Um, and Mephesto sometimes is taken the form of if I'm right, Blackheart is Mephesto's son, so the son of the devil. Sure. And uh, that is the extent of my Blackheart knowledge off the top of my dome here. So, uh, uh, okay, well, none of that helps. My guess is the reason he's uh, the son of the devil fought Daredevil mm. is because Daredevil has an entire religion uh, sub through line with Daredevil being Catholic right. and stuff. So fight the devil, Daredevil. There's also devil. Devil on devil. Uh, fighting. Anyway. Blackheart also tries to corrupt heroes because I know he has had an experience with Spider-Man and I believe that first Daredevil encounter was them, him trying to corrupt heroes to be villainous. Okay. So if that helps at all. A little bit. Like he so manipulates I... them, their emotions, and uh, tries to draw hell through them kind of okay. thing. My thought is what if Blade, having come back, finding out about the Night Stalkers being decimated, uh, uh, and the vampires reestablishing all of their hate, all, all of their, uh, their their nests and stuff. Um, he also finds out, and it's it's a reason that there's that there's alarm bells that he needs to seek other help. Mm -hmm. um, is because some of these vampires, it seems, sort of the the, the shot callers um, have access to essentially a vampire drug. 
that is being called Blackheart. Hmm, okay. That makes them much more powerful. Nice. That gives them powers of things like tele- telekinesis and things like that. Powers beyond even what vampires already have. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and like like it turns their their blood from from the crimson red to a black ichor. Uh, uh, Iker or Iker? I never know Iker. how to pronounce that word. Iker. I have Iker. 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 Um, um, uh, 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 cool, because now we can have more blood in a PG-13 movie if it's not red. Oh, well, there you go. Blade could be rated R, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, right, so it's this, I, I need... Uh, 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 that's why he's seeking help, but also he needs to, to, to find the source, and it seems to be Count Von Stott, but it turns out... Like and he finds out oh they've been trying to summon this uh, uh, the, the, this demon with these powers and mm-hmm. he finds out no that demon's already here it's been here mm-hmm. uh, and it's the source of of this stuff yeah. Blackheart is the name of the demon and it's giving us his blood that is empowering us and just spreading his seed around the world yeah kind of through thing. vampires and thus through the vampires into human mm-hmm. institutions of power and. Uh, what not the i love there's a vision of blade and whoever he should like if it's if it is dane uh if it's black knight showing up fighting von stott without even like really having any sort of monologue or anything just coming in like attacking and getting to that last moment of like you'll never summon your demon to this plane and von stott and like his last breath like <laughs> what you think i want to su- oh, oh no you stupid so, bad i and do then, yeah i do like modeling uh, 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 framing stories sort of like other stories that came before I mm-hmm. think if I would do anything for this I would actually do I would do the story Heart of Darkness or moviegoers would know it as Apocalypse, Apocalypse Now. Now okay yeah um, Joseph so, Conrad's Heart of Darkness yeah um, I don't know what our river would be. Mm-hmm. It, it could be a more of a metaphorical one, and that's why he has to go across the world. So, so whatever our red dotted, red red dotted line across the map is, we'll travel by map. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but essentially, that means Count von Stott could come down to being essentially the Dennis Quaid character. Like, oh man, you don't even know. You and, and then he has to go into the inner sanctum where Blackheart is. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you think you think you're an assassin? Yeah. Sent in the night? No, you're an errand boy. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Come, come get me, errand boy. A little, little something like that. I I I want to throw this in for our for our not quick travel, but just a way to get these characters across the world a little more efficiently, especially if they're connecting the dots. If we do some sort of globe trotting, uh, not fetch fetch quest, but like Indiana Jones, where you go from A to B to C to D to kind of get to the villain. Uh, Give, if if we're gonna bring Dane in, like if that is one of the, uh, either a Night Stalker, or if Black Knight joined in this fight against the Mm -hmm. demons, getting a sling ring. one of the Doctor Strange rings, just so we have a teleporter teleportation mm. device that gets us through. Uh, I'm not I'm not completely sold on that. I'm throwing it out just for the sake of traveling. However, alternatively, I don't mind travel time in stories because it no, gives neither. characters a moment to slow down and discuss things. And there are interesting ways to do that. In an adventure sense, I point to the Mummy. There are plenty. The action sequence: slow down, travel, and talk. Action yeah. sequence, slow down, travel, and talk. Yeah. So I'm taking the sling ring away. I, I put it on the table, and, okay. I, and I, then I open the portal and threw the ring through and shut oh, the Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that way we can take our we can take our characters across, travel through map, and sure. give them some time to discuss shit. Yeah. But to go back to your point of, I like that Blackheart, Blackheart's blood is being used to infect, like almost like a drug for vampires and then mm-hmm. infecting non-vampires like they're they're that's that's pretty cool and it's blood yeah relating back to the whole vampire notion yeah it's just demon blood is do what do you think of the notion of a, a bigger picture of blade not really understanding his needing to narratively prove his import in this universe like whether he says it or not I need to be doing this fight because no one else will. That's why I belong here. Like the, I'm going I, back to that. I don't, I don't want him to be proving himself to other vampire hunters. I, I like the notion of trying to clue other people in this world into 
vampires are a problem and they're like whatever yeah uh, uh yes agreed i'm gonna keep i'm gonna vote indiana jones for the 50th time indiana jones knows exactly who he is and what he's doing yeah and he though has character arcs they're very minimal his achieving a goal is essentially is ultimately what is important to him mm-hmm. so i think blade having a bit of confusion but no doubt be like like yeah i I'm just going to keep doing what I was doing before. Whether you, yeah. whether you believe in it or not, it exists. Yeah. Uh, so then, yeah. Uh, without saying it, he's proving why he belongs in this universe. Mm-hmm. Take that, naysayers like me 10 minutes ago. <laughs> well, I, I also think, right, so as as we're, we're going around, I mean, I don't know how many set pieces, I don't know how many uh, uh, scenes we actually have to, to have him try recruiting other people because... And actually, maybe that's a part of the character building. Blade, as we've known him, he's not a diplomatic type, right? He wears wraparound sunglasses and carries a katana. He's not exactly the type to recruit people. Yeah. So him having to be the one to go to uh, at at that time, I think it would still be, no, uh, having to find Nick Fury and be like, this is a problem. I need your help. Mm. Like for the guy who says, I don't need help. How mm. does he say I need help? Uh, uh, and, and being given the pittance of one, one agent, one desk clerk looking to get it into the field. Mm-hmm. Right. Like that's, that's not what shield. That's not why I came to shield. What do you, what do you, I thought I, you're here to protect the planet. Yeah. And he will, he will help you he do help so. You do that. He, I, he's your whistle for when the war starts. You can blow this. <laughs> oh, I'll call you Whistler. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, and, and, I, and, and doing that to like different things. Like if you really wanted the, the, the sling ring, he could totally go to Wong. That, uh, to, to Wong. I don't remember that. Yeah. Uh, uh, the same like, term. Uh, 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 Sorcerer Supreme. Mm-hmm. You of anyone should understand the import and danger vampires pose. Mm-hmm. Please help help me stop this. It's grown since since I was away. Mm-hmm. And Wong would be like, "There's a lot of problems I have to address. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you this kid who mm-hmm. was training in the temple. And there you go. He's got a sling ring. Mm. Um. So so like he could sort of he could because that's the thing. Our our good guys. Uh, what I also like that we're doing here is all the other movies, why didn't they just call the Avengers? Right. Is I like the idea of him doing so and them okay, blowing now I'm on him board. off. Yes, now I'm on board. I, I was a little hesitant to like let this evolve into a team movie because we've seen multiple team movies at this point and I don't mind the solo adventure, but you're onto something there. Like, yeah, one of the, eh, why don't they just do this? Like, look, we literally have a character doing this and he's getting ignored. He's getting blown yeah. off. He's getting... And the thing is, there are good guys, and I don't want our good guys to be jerks and say, no, go away, you weird man. Yeah. They, but they, they give them the minimum uh, help. Mm-hmm. Like, of uh, the list of priorities right now, fighting vampires is pretty low. Yeah. It's like, it should like, be. And, and uh, to, to then, we, we could have him go to New Asgard, and they actually don't give him anyone because they're like, there are 100 of us. <laughs> right. Like... In the universe, we can't afford mm-hmm. to give you anyone. We'll let you know if a vampire shows up in this fjord. <laughs> fjord. It's just fun to say. Fjord. Fjord. That is an umlap over the U. It or the, the O. The o. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, I'm on the fence about... I, I don't mind this. The, the Him connecting the dots from one spot to another and in the midst of connecting those dots. Okay. I want to I want to rationalize this a little bit more. Okay. I don't particularly like the idea of Blade just going. I need to visit these people and then these people and these people. So nexus po- like like points of activity, like severe points of activity, happen to be within the vicinity of people who should be doing something about it. So maybe he doesn't go to Shield exactly, but he goes to a location where he causes such a ruckus that Shield shows up. Sure. And then what is this? Hey, I was in the middle of taking care of this which you people should have been taking care of for the past five years. Well, we've been dealing with a lot for the past five years. Vampires are not high on the, high on the priority list. Well, they should be. They are a bigger threat than you realize. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, 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 okay. What's your name? Blade? All right. I'm going to sign an agent to you because you are as much of a problem. Look at this mess you created. Yeah. Uh, and then reluctantly accepting someone sure. and then getting to the next location and, and running across 
Like, here's some vampires in this. Oh, and a man with a sword shows up and starts slaying. And now you have Dane Whitman introduced. And like, oh, I thought I was the only one fighting these things. I'd love to join sure. you. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not looking for a team up. <sighs> I have a sword. So do you. We should be friends. Like, <laughs> Just coming sword up, club. coming sword club, um, yeah. So not him actively recruiting, but sort of reluctantly sure, building yeah. a, even if it's just three people that, yeah. that join him up by the end. Um, I think uh, right, like the one exception. I like the idea of. I keep forgetting. Um, if he's not going to seek him out, I like the idea of Moon Knight's God. Cannot remember the name of him. Uh, sending him to Blade mm. to give him something like appearing. To like, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Kanchu. Kanchu, yeah. yeah. Kanchu sends Moon Knight to to give Blade this thing. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like we might even like get a cutaway to Kanchu saying to Moon Knight, "The Daywalker has returned." Mm-hmm. Like, uh, uh, and he's Moon Knight's like, "Who?" Mm-hmm. He's like, uh, 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 f- "Fighter of the Vampires," so- something like f- "Fighter of the 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 Night Ones." I don't know. Uh, so, something like yeah. that, and, and then he gives him a boon, right? He doesn't mm-hmm. team up with him, but he gives him like some special, like a you know something like a a grenade that shoots light. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, you can outrun it if you're just a little faster than the vamps. Uh, yeah, I, having having that uh, a moment. Of, I'm trying to think what's a good. Uh, I used the Doctor Strange cameo in Ragnarok because it narratively worked to connect from A to B. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm just trying to think if there's any other precedent for that in the MCU that we've seen so far. Uh, uh, Happy has made appearances in multiple mm-hmm. things for a moment to activate a character's agency in a particular direction. Yeah, so that, we, we can find a, a way to to work Moon Knight into this situation. Well, that one I think is the easiest because Khonshu would be plugged... I feel like Khonshu would be plugged in... Of the characters we've met, Khonshu would most be plugged in to any sort of uh, celestial workings like like a demon being on the on earth um mm-hmm. uh, uh vampiric activities um because I, I feel like i i don't i don't think it's just vampire the masquerade i feel like there's a vampiric connection back to egyptian mythology that i'm forgetting but that that's sort of why i'm i'm pulling it to there so yeah so Kanchu would be like this is a thing we do need to be concerned about mm-hmm. so he's being proactive by having by by helping in this way uh, uh, yeah. Do you imagine this happening if we go from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to Black Knight and then Kanchu, a Moon Knight pops up here as we move? If in that, is that the order that you see? Not necessarily. Um, I don't mind that order. I, I just, even just saying it out loud, it feels perfectly correct to me. Uh, I do I'm of two minds of just seeing Moon Knight pop up to say, here's a thing, by," But I also like the notion of it, Moon Knight showing up. It could be a, a bit larger. Think the Paladin in D&D. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. It doesn't, it, yeah, it doesn't have to be side a, quest. Uh, uh, here, here's a, here's a door prize. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It could be, a, it could be a whole side quest. Uh, as, as long as it has. In fact, in fact, so I know I said I only wanted a cam- uh, at most a cameo and that's what this could be. It could actually be both Moon Knight and Black Knight in this little side quest. Oh, okay. So like like when when Blade and friends uh, whoever they happen to be have to go to England, mm-hmm. they're like, yeah, we there's there's a thing happening. What what are we all doing here? Okay, let's fight the vampires. We fought the vampires. Blade's like, cool. I got to go over to I'm, here now. I'm and trying like, to stop a demon from being some, brought to this like, plane like of that. existence. Like, well, good luck. We got to uh, I got to stay here. Moon has not been there. <laughs> yeah, that, actually that'd be a hilarious yeah. thing for him to say. Uh, Any advice? Yeah, don't, 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 don't let two giant demons fight over the city. Yeah. Oh, good. Thanks. That's really helpful. Do you <laughs> want to? Come? That's terrible advice. <laughs> That's all yeah, I got. That's all I got. <laughs> ask, ask me again when another personality is in charge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't mind that, like him coming across the location, and then Black Knight and Moon Knight are kicking some ass, and then they have yeah. The Paladin from D and D is a great example of fifteen minutes of of. Yeah. A side quest that mm-hmm. pushes our characters forward. Would they they retrieve the the helmet? But yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, getting something out of it. Maybe, perhaps uh, Blade's going to retrieve an item that Moon Knight and Black Knight are also fighting to protect against vampiric vampiric villains. 
and then like, we've been we were trying to stop these vampires from taking the MacGuffin. You think we're just going to let you have it? Yeah, I'm I'm only half vampire. <laughs> Maybe something something yeah, like that. Yeah. That, that my, my problem with that is I've I've been I've been fighting to protect this to keep it here. Mm-hmm. Yes, I will let you take it. Well, that that that, that fighting feels, it's, fighting to protect it from falling into the wrong hands. Sure. Just the, that's the the soft suggestion. Uh, maybe. I'd, I'd I'd rather have it be um, bestowed upon. They no they they come across Blade in a vampire fight mm-hmm. in in England, and uh, they could even have their own like you're a vampire. No, I'm not. I fight the vampires. I'm the Daywalker. Like mm-hmm. oh Daywalker, I've heard of you. Uh, and then the three of them are like, uh, yeah. Why are there suddenly a whole bunch more vampires? here right now in blades like because of this thing oh okay we'll help you go get it and then they get it okay like that yeah, rather yeah, yeah. than that, that's than the reverse sure i like that that that's yeah. that makes it more logical that blade would get it in the end yeah yeah that's fine um and he and is he is it just him and this agent um do we want a couple of the night stalkers to join him sure yeah. I, again i don't know names that's why i haven't said anyone it, okay, can, okay. it can be it, it could be I don't even care. Up to five. They're they're not all going to be fighters, right? They're 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 a support staff. Very blade. So, very blade too to have a team. Sure. That blade is involved with. Uh, and they don't have to be, but you know, just having a face be like, oh, that's the guy who buys the plane tickets. <laughs> we don't have to imagine Blade uh, uh, fi- looking for bargains on Expedia. <laughs> <laughs> Do the clerical work for me. <laughs> Get over here, hey Whistler. Load my, uh, load my guns. <laughs> uh, yeah, and working their way to our villain. So to, to build this out further, Blade's got a pretty direct route and mission. Yeah. Kill the bad guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, oops, there's a bigger bad guy. Now kill the bigger bad guy. Mm, that doesn't feel like enough right now. That doesn't feel like enough. Well, I imagine. I, I like what we got. Here, sure. But it, it's missing something for me to go, God, I want to see this. Well, think of it. Uh, 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 it's a it's a it's a pyramid, right? It's a pyramid scheme. There's someone at the top, mm-hmm. and there's people underneath. Blade doesn't know who's at the top, so he has to work his way there. How's he going to work his way there? By finding a guy at the bottom and finding out who he works for. Yeah, and that's that's, la, that's la, what's la, happening is yeah. he's working his way up the ladder mm-hmm. uh, or pyramid to stop mixing my shapes. Um, <laughs> um, well, so the, yeah, so it it would it would more be it, it's not just oh I stopped the one guy twist there's a there's one above him it's more it think about apocalypse now they're working their way up the river they mm, run into different okay. complications they run into uh, uh, choices that have to be made you can say Charlie uh, what they, they they run into Charlie Charlies that have to be made Charlies have to be made. <laughs> <laughs> Charlies in the trees Charlies in the river. Uh, but never get out of the boat. Never get out, never of, the get out of the boat. Um, yeah, like just uh, if it's a two-hour movie, you know, six, seven set pieces of him slaying and progressing mm-hmm. the plot. Yeah, uh, in, in that case, what would really sell this movie is the fight choreography, uh, because it's it is pretty simple of a of a film. It's not much more complex than the raid or Taken, or you know, you've evoked. Uh, apocalypse now cool like i'm mm-hmm. like going off that yeah um it's a pretty pretty thin plot that could be driven by the cool factor sure well and and so like apocalypse now apocalypse now uh uh, uh pontificates about the notion of war mm-hmm. um and uh, mortality and, and and all the things uh in between and we get a bunch of different perspectives on that and and that could basically be what happens is as he goes, as he gets a clue to go to another place, he, we can meet people that are fighting the fight there on the like, right? Like street, these, whatever street level characters are trying to resist the vampires wherever they're at mm-hmm. so that we can have uh, the, the same sort of equivalence, the same beats uh, as something like apocalypse now has. Uh, um, yes. What I would, what we need to do though is, is, come to a very exciting climax uh, blade and whoever remains versus some vampires and blade versus von stott count von stott and having a big action sequence sure. there that feels like the ending oops surprise 
literally the shadows that have been all around us all at this entire fight sequence, mm-hmm. these moving shadows that we noticed when we walked through the door and didn't, didn't understand, that's the threat. This is Blackheart. Blackheart isn't the drug we've been chasing to destroy that's being distributed by Von Stott. Blackheart mm-hmm. is, and then there Blackheart is, and now everything, they, all the vampires they fought up to this point are child's play to, compared to the son of Mephisto, a yeah. demon from actual hell. And now the true fight of the, of the final final battle of the movie is is in front of us. And then, right, and it could be like, we're not, uh, they weren't trying to open a portal to me, right? I, I've, mm-hmm. I've been here. I've been here. Yeah. Every person who's taken Blackheart, who has, who's taken my blood, mm-hmm. who, 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 who I have sired mm-hmm. uh, uh, into being Blackhearted vampires is a portal themselves. You're, you're too late, Blade. Mm-hmm. Even with the, the, the number you've killed. Yeah. I'm everywhere. Ha, 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 ha. Well, cut your head off. I guess I got to go deal with all those vampires. <laughs> and then the head grows back. I'm like, you thought it would be that easy? Uh, uh, yes, I did. Cut that head off. <laughs> uh, I gotta, I'll just get, I'll do this uh, all cut day. Cut that head off. Well, stop doing that. Cut I'm that try, head off. Listen, I'm trying to tell you something. <laughs> cut that head oh, off. My God, my, oh, my God. My head came out of my butt this time. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? You're going to cut my butt off? Cut that head God off. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Which... Um, Cutting the head off so, is not. What I mean, do you, so is, is yes that little interplay you want to discuss? How does he defeat yes. Blackheart? That, I like. I like by cutting his head off. No. Like, <laughs> you can't keep doing that. I'm just going to keep growing it back. Do you not understand? Uh, I don't cut it off. Okay. I've come to bargain. <laughs> that put in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come to bargain. Cut the head off. Yes, that is my last thing we need to discuss here. As far as I'm concerned, is the how do we defeat this villain again? How does Blade defeat Blackheart? If this is a demon that has literally been infesting the planet with himself or itself uh, for five years, Mm -hmm. how do you defeat this being? What is the... What if that's the, what if that's the MacGuffin that Moon Knight... Conchu gave him in the first place? He gave him a canoptic jar. Go on. Uh, so you know what a canoptic jar is? No. No. Okay. A canoptic jar is one of the ritual jars that they would use in the mummification process. Oh, they would like put yeah. orga- uh, uh, the the organs mm-hmm. uh, of, of people in them. So uh, the- what I'm suggesting is blade. It, it, this is right. It's from uh, an Egyptian god. So it's magic. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and all he, all he has to do is wh- whether it's just aim it at a uh, black heart or genie in the bottle it dump yeah. his blood in there so yeah genie in the bottle he needs to genie in the bottle him bottle him get him in this jar and now he's stuck there good i'm gonna back up in the opening that final battle in whatever castle blade yeah. is about to defeat the vampires in they have the item there that they've been like worshiping over or whatnot that whatever the MacGuffin is is right there so then uh it when blade returns it's missing and then it's returned to him by mm. Moon Knight and then becomes the final piece of how to defeat Blackheart. And we can we can do that subtly enough where it's it's not obvious. OK, um, I'm not. Oh, shit. Here, the one of the reasons I like it is so one of the things um, the Marvel Universe hasn't really dealt with yet. Mm-hmm. And we're not fully dealing with it either is. How do you have multiple pantheons yes. existing in the same universe? Very good question. <laughs> right, the way they got around it with Thor and stuff is they're just aliens. Mm-hmm. Is is just they're 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 just higher aliens. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't until magic. It wasn't until Doctor Strange was 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 at introducing actual magic, and they still kind of dodged it. Um, by the oh, they're, they're just all wizards, mm-hmm. right? And and then there's Dormammu, who's a who's a big cosmic thing. We're Eldritch not going to talk about him. Yeah. Um, and then Scarlet Witch also bypassed it in a really similar way. Uh, uh, Agatha all along might be the closest we're getting to really dealing with magic. Mm-hmm. But Moon Knight actually brought in another religion. Mm-hmm. Um, right? It brought in the, the, the Egyptian pantheon. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it didn't really talk about or address how, how were you guys the, the pantheon while well, the Asgardians were. Like that's easy enough. To kind of also hand wave. Well, they're the, they're aliens, right? They're they're from another mm-hmm. planet. They call it a plane. It's it's a planet. Mm-hmm. Um, meanwhile, we're the gods here. Mm-hmm. I think 
what I like the idea of pointing at is not still not addressing exactly what it means, but the reason this canoptic jar works so well on Blackheart is because Blackheart is from like a different mythology. Yeah. And so he can't counter this magic, mm. if mm-hmm. you will. Is yeah. It? I don't know. I don't know how much that needs to be actually even said in the movie, but just saying this jar of the dead will contain you, <laughs> demon. Boop. Bloop. Feels like, like, it, basically it puts on screen pantheons interacting with each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 and, and suggests and starts a conversation. That, yeah. We, and, and I don't think we need to answer it. No, no. We, we having the, uh, just the, the uh, briefest of mentioning of it. Th- you're onto something here. I think this is the right, this is a, it's getting to a proper place to go. Um, I have mm, slight reservations about it for a very silly reason. Go ahead. <laughs> Kind of like a flask sucking a demon into. A I know, but it's not like you invented that. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I, if if that's fine, it's the only only because we've we've yeah. gone down this this path before in our own work that yeah. I'm like, are we lifting from that? Don't necessarily think so. Uh, it's well because it also doesn't have to be that same kind of thing. Right, like, right. Like it could be an actual ritual has to be completed. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was actually thinking literally what uh, um, blade. Uh, uh, has to defeat Blackheart in combat, and it'll be very difficult because of all his powers, but he essentially cuts Blackheart's heart out and mm-hmm. puts the heart there we go. in the jar. I like that. So then Blackheart's and so like... now the only Blackheart blood that's left is what's pumping through his veins, and there's no heart left to pump out more or make more. And Okay, so yeah, he, yes, yes. See, now his... Because he doesn't even need to die. Once right. he loses the heart, yeah. Blackheart could be like, no! And then like make a portal and, and flee back yes. to hell or something. Now we're talking. Yes, I like this. That that it's literally putting his heart in the jar kind of thing. I like that. Yeah. Yes. The heart of... Of darkness. Oh, blade, heart of darkness. <laughs> did you do that on purpose? A little bit. Were you getting off? Oh, I did. I chose Everyone black heart, you. and I chose yep. apocalypse now. Heart Go, of dark. I did. Everyone, thank I you. Hear all the listeners applauding Jim right now. Thank you. He's, he's bowing. Thank you. He's bowing. Thank you. Well done. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the subtitle of the movie. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so this ends with Blade living to fight another day. Like the vampires are still out there. The, the vampires with Blackheart. With Blackheart are still out there. Um, and, and Actually, I even like the idea that Blackheart isn't defeated, just his heart is taken. Mm-hmm. So technically, Blackheart is still out there in yeah. the multiverse. Or yeah. in the What would you call? The astral plane. The, like, right, right. The, the planar. The astral. Because the there's the, there's the astral plane. There's there's the other. There there's the uh, uh, there's hell. The, there's probably multiple hells. There's, there's heavens. This, there's Uatu's uh, uh, in betweens. Sure. Yeah. yeah. There, there's there's all those mm. things. I wonder what you would call planes that are connected to a single reality that are a part of that reality, but a different plane. This is a notion that is from the comics that the most previous Venom movie talked about. Really. Uh, I don't remember that. The Venom, the Venom entity, the Ven- Venom alien race yeah. exists at all times multiversal. So any oh. knowledge that one symbiote has in one dimension, all the Venoms have in all dimensions. Interesting. That is, they have multiversal connective intelligence. Does that make them the multiversal cosmic cockroaches? Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. So right, so it, yeah. it's it's essentially the vermin, the slime, the the black mold yeah. <laughs> that the Watchers ha- and the and other cosmic beings have to basically clean up. Kind of, yeah. And uh, the only reason I evoked Venom right now for that aspect is sort of what you're touching on of like what do you call yeah. that space between spaces? Uh, we we have some. We don't. I don't know if there's names for it, but we do have a couple of like uh, the reason I brought it up is to suggest that hell is one. Like the idea of the of hell yeah. in any pantheon, there is only one hell and not like multiversal hells. So like Blackheart goes to hell and can exit in any point kind of thing. Like there isn't 
There isn't different different multiversal right. hells. What I was saying, yes, there there's a six one six hell and a six one six heaven. Yes, but then also what was Deadpool's one zero zero five four five something. Like, so yeah. even if that's not it, that was, there's also a hell one zero zero four five and a heaven one zero zero four five. There I'm, are pla- there are planes of existence right. associated with dimensions. And I'm suggesting that there is not that there is only one hell in all the multiverse. Mm. And so all all demonic hell beings all exist in one singular. I don't like that. Okay, I I, I threw it out as a notion. <laughs> I don't know what the multiverse. I'm assuming there is a multiverse of hells as much as there because, is planes of existence. Wait, well, uh, no, I need, in, a, I need a better example in the uh, comics uh, and uh, the movies. Who's a villain who dies? Name a, one. A villain who dies? Yeah. Obadiah Stane. Obadiah Stane. When Obadiah Stane died, he went to hell. Mm-hmm. That means there are infinite Obadiah Stanes in hell. Great. <laughs> I, I, and and that, that, that just gets weird to me. Although, I don't know. Ah, it, I, my it, my it, initial idea, I don't, I don't care for it. I don't know why I went down this path. Okay. <laughs> but just well, a matter because of... Because I brought up what, what would you call... It doesn't matter. Yeah. Blackheart gets away, but the Blackheart remains in Blade's possession. And Blade has himself a new... Uh, Night Stalker's team or the surviving members plus his new additions to the group and lives to keep slaying vampires. Sure. Um, and I, I think in our denouement, he like his, his the, the, the newbies he was given, maybe they like like the H agent, the shield agent writes his report back and gets more funding. I don't But basically, I, I like the idea of alluding to the Midnight Suns being a thing. Mm-hmm. So like. Oh, that Moon Knight guy that showed up. Yeah, he's interested in it. Like, like maybe suggesting something. Oh, or, no, oh, no. or I guess if I wanted to allude to the the, the multi picture movie mm. coming together, mm. it's I'm doing it too soon. Uh, this 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 here's a suggestion that uh, reporting back to Nick Fury. Yeah, and Nick Fury being like, I guess maybe I underestimated not just the threat, but your importance in facing that threat. So you can keep having Agent Bland. And uh, also, um, I got a couple files here that couple couple cases here that probably could use your expertise. And then hint to Ghost Rider or hint to some other paranormal super, a werewolf running around or a man thing running By around. By that point, um, uh, if we've had Nick Fury already, I, I wouldn't want to do it again. I would way rather have that agent say like, "I've been assigned uh, uh, the X Files." Yeah, I've, or, <laughs> I, 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 I've been I've been given. Uh, 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 a budget. Yeah. And, and like he's floored by that notion. Like right. I, I'm a whole department. Yeah. <laughs> We're suggesting the same thing. That this yeah. ends yeah. with Blade having a source for his missions. Sure. That he's not just wandering aimlessly killing vampires. He literally has a source for work. Sure. Of, of missions. Mm-hmm. And it's the missions that he is right for as well as other people who might have paranormal or supernatural uh, proclivities. Um, sure. Moon Knight and hints at Ghost Rider, Black Knights, and whatnot. Yes. So then hinting towards the Midnight Suns by the end of it. Uh, And uh, yeah, cool. Blade. (laughs) I'm happy with that. Is the studio happy with that? That is a good question. Ian, we turn to you uh, over at... And and studio Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Or Uh, Bodies Cubed. Bodies Cubed. It says Bodies times three. So I'm going to say... Oh, so it's not cubed. So it's just Bodies times three. Uh, so Ian, how did we do? Uh, what did we miss? Did this did this insert blade into the universe uh, in in a way that makes you happy? Uh, but you other listeners as well, you got to let us know if you agree or disagree with how we handled this today. We'd love for you to hit us up and let us know if we missed something or or how you'd like to add to that. And there's a couple ways you can do such things. First off, you can message us directly at studiodemandsit.com or on Instagram at Studio Demands It. If you're not already, you can subscribe to us on all your podcatchers of choice. Uh, why aren't you subscribe right now? So just a click of the button. Come on, we, we come out every two weeks. There's a finale coming up. You're gonna see, you're gonna hear a feature film. It's now now more than ever you should subscribe. Uh, and thank you to those who have already. If you feel like giving us a little review, five star review, don't hurt nobody either. That's just no, clicking your thumb as well. That's true. You can do that in app. And that helps us get out there into the algorithm. You can also find us on YouTube and TikTok, where we post video content occasionally, including material not heard here on the show. Jim, where else can people discuss the studio demands? You can find us on Reddit at uh, 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 s dot or s slash. Oh, I'm good, real good at this. S slash studio demands it, uh, wh- where we can discuss 
uh, the episodes and your reactions to them and maybe what you would have done instead. Uh, <laughs> same with uh, we have a server on Discord. You can go to our website, studiodemandsit.com, where there is a link to the Discord at the top of the page. Just click on that and it'll... Uh, uh, you, get, you get all subscribed in there to our uh, Discord server, where you can also have a conversation with Chat us away. about stuff. Yeah, uh, so. and 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 come come bother me in in my my lurking ways, <laughs> so that I actually uh, uh, respond more. Come talk to me. Get Jim. Get him. <laughs> uh, and also if you would like to we have a Patreon for a couple bucks a month you can get episodes early they are twice as long for example today we discussed we started talking about sports movies mm -hmm. and then we evolved it into the soon to burst or maybe not superhero bubble uh, we talked about the substance and body horror mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to hear some of our extended conversations you can do that over at Patreon it's only a couple bucks and you get the videos early as well. And you can also just subscribe for free if you just want to get the occasional free content, which includes uh, material. I don't like, uh, content's a dirty word. Uh, the additional material That's of right. our walking out of theater reviews every now and then. And uh, for right now, what we're about to do uh, is we are going to discuss Joker fully ado in our bonus section. But before that, yeah, we saw that movie. We saw that movie. We're going to do it, but I want to do one other thing. Uh, first, massive thank you to 6.5 Media for everything they do for us. What a what an awesome season we've had here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our last standard episode for the season. This is our last demand. We will be doing the crossover with AVP coming up, the penultimate episode where we will... AZP. A a I'm sorry, I said AVP. <laughs> uh, and then the finale. We are, we are mere episodes away, folks. Um, so very exciting there. And for, uh, uh, for those who listen to us and don't know, AZP is another Zelda podcast. Yes. My apologies. Yes. Uh, David Geiser, who is the godfather of six, five media. Uh, we do a crossover episode every season, crossover episodes every season. And Jim, I'm so excited for this year's crossover. Yeah. I've been waiting for this. It came in last year. I saw it right oh. after we recorded our episode and uh -huh. I was like, we're doing this next year. I'm getting Jim on this time because I've been guessing. Uh, yeah, I, ha I haven't been yeah. on those episodes. Jim, Jim will be joining it, at, joining the the Zelda crossover episode this year, and I'm very excited to do so. So please uh, stick around for that. Now, uh, I want before we truly wrap up here. I'm gonna give a, we're, gonna we're not truly a, done yet. We're not truly done yet. This this is technically the end Psych. of the episode. This is technically the end of the episode, and would technically go into the bonus section. But before we actually go into Patreon territory, to give a little bonus to our friends who stuck through this point right here, let's just briefly talk about Venom's place in the MCU. <laughs> now, oh, okay. we've previously done Venom in the MCU last uh -huh. season, two seasons ago, when we did The Amazing Spider-Man 3. We did pitch Venom's place in, in the MCU by we suggesting did. Tom Hardy be Eddie Brock, be Eddie Brock in as, movie 616 yeah, yeah. and be the villain. Uh, but not be the same Eddie Brock and Ven Venom he's been playing over at Sony. Over at the Sonyverse, right. So uh, the reason I'm, I'm throwing Venom out into the open here right now is to s we thought we were going to do a Venom episode. Yeah. And while we do very little pre-thought to these because of the spontaneity of pitching on the, p pitching on the spot, mm -hmm. uh, were there any things, any tiny little Venom nuggets that you might have wanted to explore in a Venom episode that we did not do. No, it kind of came down to what what were the, those demands going to be? Was it going to be? That's uh, always that's always the trick because we can we can know what the subject's going to be. Yeah, but there's no way of knowing what the demand is going to be until we read it live. Um. Gosh, yeah, no, I'm I'm not I'm not sure. Yeah the the idea of maybe if the demand had been what would our third Venom be or what would we do differently? Honestly, I don't like venom enough as a hero okay sam raimi <laughs> i like venom the villain sure uh that's always my favorite preferred version of him to uh -huh. hate spider-man and i think as a, as a hero he's interesting but he requires spider-man to be in contrast to because right. the whole point the whole reason venom the symbiote the symbiont uh, uh wants to be a hero mm is because he once was one with Peter Parker. Mm -hmm. And he, like, as much as he changed Peter during that time, Peter changed him yeah. as well. 
uh, uh, and so he wants he wants to do right, which is why he is the lethal protector. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, we we help people. Look, that woman is getting her purse snatched. I'll jump down there and, and eat. eat this guy <laughs> and give the woman her purse back. And she screams and runs away. <laughs> what are you so upset about? Yeah, right. Like, uh, um, I believe that's actually the the way. When when Venom got his own comic as a the uh, lethal as, protector, as, yeah. uh, that's how it started. Was <laughs> was he he stops a purse snatcher, um, uh, uh, and I feel even without Spider Man present, I feel like Sony the Sony movies have pretty much done that. They've done it. They've it, weirdly somehow inexplicably, as yeah. I've said time and again, this trilogy is perfectly fine. Um, all the other things I can think of on how I like Venom don't really have him as a character. He's more of like a pre- like. Uh, I haven't even read all of Old Man Logan, but I love Venom's presence in it. Mm-hmm. He's he's chasing Wolverine, uh, uh, and he's venomized. He's basically lifted the remains of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> so it's a, he's a Venom Tyrannosaurus Rex chasing Wolverine and Hawkeye across the country. <laughs> I wonder if we'll ever see that. Um, in, yeah, in live know. action. Yeah, um, I don't know. Like thinking of the MCU as a whole and Venom as a character, I I don't think there is a place for Venom the hero in the MCU. I just realized th- there's a big part of Venom we haven't touched on that is probably where we would, should, could go mm-hmm. uh, in the MCU. And it's past Eddie Brock. It's past Peter Parker. <gasps> it's Flash. It's Flash. Flash Thompson, Agent Venom. Yeah. Yes. And especially with Thunderbolts coming out. Oh. Just have it be sort of sort of a follow-up to uh-huh. whatever they decide to do with Thunderbolts. Flash, Flash Thompson and Venom uh, uh, is a project that comes out of out of the remnants of that. That is there. There is a version. The Eddie Brock Venom I don't feel has a place in the MCU, but a Flash Thompson Agent Venom, that's a notion I could get on board with. It's particularly if uh, no, I don't remember his name. The actor who plays Flash. Um, oh, it was uh crap. It was the 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 guy who played the vampire in Being Human. Uh, he was the, the, the zombie in the tank in Walking Dead. Uh, he, uh, it's Tony something like Tony. I should isn't it at, right, right? Am I thinking of the right person? It's the, uh, maybe now, now maybe I'm thinking of the wrong to, person. Tony, Tony Revol, Revol, Revolori, Revoloi, Tony Revoloi. Yeah. He's also in Grand Budapest Hotel. I think I'm thinking of the wrong person. Here, lean over the computer. You can think. Yeah, that's flat. Well, that's flash. I'm thinking of the wrong person. Yeah, you bastard. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah. of the, the, I'm thinking of the the voice of Darth Maul. Oh, Ray Park or oh, Peter Serafinowicz. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Wrong guy. Wrong Not guy. even close. He's like 20 years older than Tony Ravoli. R- Ravioli. <laughs> Tony Ravioli. <laughs> you turned him into a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like the notion. I, honestly, there was a a, a a little bit of headcanon fan. fan oh, can- oh, you're saying the... the Flash Thompson from the uh, oh, derp from from uh, the, the, Tom, the, 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 Tom the, the Tom Holland. Ah, yeah. uh, uh, wow! I I brain farted real hard on that. I don't care. Yes, we could still do him because we saw him play a tough guy in something. Maybe, uh, I guess it was just a bit. He was in Scream. He was in Scream yeah, Seven. Yeah, that's right. He kills. As, he gets the uh, first kill. The cold open uh, killer. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, that that's that is probably a place for Venom in the MCU. Mm-hmm. Is because Flash has already been established over the course of films. There was some uh, indication of, in Far From Home, Flash is texting his family, and they don't care about him. Yeah. Like, and it's it's very, very, you, you would have to look online to read those texts, but it's there. And there were some people thinking like, hey, what if he's the stand, if he's basically Harry Osborn in this universe? That sure. If he's the young, spoiled, rich kid whose dad is evil, we can fold the Osbournes into the Thompsons. And I thought that was a fun notion um, to do something new and different with these characters. But Agent Venom is one of those Venom alternates that I am a fan of Mm -hmm. because Flash being a fan, hates Peter, I love (laughs) Spider-Man, turning him into Venom. Like that's, there's a lot of fun to be had there. But TBD, who knows? We have other Spider-Man, Spider-Man movies coming. And we'll see what the fate of Venom is in both his own universe and the MCU, mm-hmm. time will tell. But the, there you go, a little bonus uh, conversation there for you at the end here. Uh, if you, When you reached us doing the sign-off and saw that there was five more minutes of episode, I hope you stuck around to listen to it. Yeah, did, did you stick around, Jim? 
I did. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about this idea more, and I'm, there's actually a lot of fertile ground for Agent Venom to explore, right? Because he's an agent of the government, mm-hmm. and he could totally get folded right into what? What did uh, Falcon call it? The 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 what? Or what are we fighting? The WWA? The 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 wizards? Oh, yeah. wi- uh, wizards, androids, and aliens. Oh, uh, wizards, uh, robots, and aliens. W- uh, WRA. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, because that right venom venom himself will have knowledge of how uh, how to deal with certain yeah. aliens mm-hmm. um flash thompson he's he, he's sort of a, 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 a right he's a, he's a spoiled rich kid but he went to an advanced like that that's he's an smart. advanced school yeah he's a smart uh, yeah. kid yeah so uh, uh, there's a number of ways to fold him into it if you don't want to mm-hmm. have him be a soldier that's recruited he could be recruited like he could be recruited as a scientist into a military program, something goes awry and the Venom symbiote, atta- which they've captured, mm-hmm. attaches itself to him. I don't know the actual origins of Agent Venom. Mm, I don't know uh, either. I, I know him as a concept. But... We could we could uh, 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 rob certain Venom fans of, uh, uh, we could actually have it come, oh, have it come off of uh, 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 Thunderbolts mm-hmm. in which literally they have to strip the, the um the Venom symbiote off of Scorpion, a prisoner that they'd been using yeah. uh, 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 as as their original agent, mm-hmm. Venom. And like, that's not working. And in the doing, somehow it gets on Flash yeah. and imprints some, or, and, or, or whatever. And then having that multiversal intelligence, mm-hmm. the Peter Parker information that has been erased from this universe is suddenly re-bestowed upon Flash, infuriating yeah. him and igniting the Venom anger. And then we have sure. Agent Venom, who also hates Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Sure. Boom, is the is the Peter Parker hate intrinsic to Agent Venom? I no, I don't. Sure it's it's intrinsic done, to done that symbiote. That yeah. Uh, well, I'm you. You said something here that now I need to end the episode because <laughs> I'm, my mind is racing. I don't know where my robot wizard and alien shirt is. I haven't seen that. Yeah, in you had one. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that shirt, Jim? Let's go find that shirt. All right. Well, we're gonna end here. Thank you everyone for listening. Uh, and uh, yeah, wait. The the season finale is coming soon. Pay uh, pay attention to the socials for voting uh, on what we greenlight or what you greenlight for us to produce. So that's all, folks. I'm terrible at doing the the porky pig. Be be kind to yourself and others and. Until next time. That's what Porky Pig says? No, it's not. (laughs) I'm Jim. Goodbye. (laughs)